Aloha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever in the world you're at. Okay, just getting my hair set. You know, I had that little um, sticky look to it. But welcome to today's Facebook live stream. My name is Master Paul Fletcher. And I am so grateful. Uh, this last week has been very filled with a lot of activity. And now we're beginning a brand new week. In which Monday through Friday I'm able to be here to serve you on live stream. Uh, and it's worked out quite well. 2 o'clock in the Hawaiian time, 5 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock Eastern time. And it's worked out well for a variety of reasons. It's allowed me to get a lot of new souls. It allowed me to, to meet new people and get to know them a little bit better and take time to go to their Facebook page and see a little bit more about them. Welcome, Kristen. Welcome, Yvonne. Thank you both for coming. <coughs> I'm hoping the Facebook live stream catches up. It's a little slow right now. I can tell it's probably pixelating on your end. So I'm hoping that will change. And I'm going to make sure that all is well. It appears that my part is working. And it appears I can hear myself. So that's good. So I'm going to pause for a minute. I'm going to allow it to stop buffering. I think it's just something with Facebook as a whole. You know, I've got um, I've got a, a, a fast internet speed that I hooked up to. I've learned how to offset the uh, the people calling in. So I think it's just a Facebook thing. We have to do the best we can. <clears throat> so hopefully, more people will join us as we go. Today, I will be focusing on soul reading and soul communication around the subject of work and work relationships. <clears throat> For many of us, our work relationships are a point of stress. They can be a point of irritation. They can cause us to have uh, the rest of our life be impacted negatively. Work and work-related stress um, tends to run into every aspect of our life because we have to prepare to it. And the, and the, if we have a typical nine to five job or whatever it is, we have to prepare prior to going to work. And when we come home, we are impacted by work and work-related stress. <clears throat> so welcome, Esther. Welcome, Allison. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you all for joining. And the subject today is work and work-related uh, relationships. And I was just commenting on work-related stress. Because for a lot of us, like when I had a job in Waikiki, um, it required me to be there at uh, 7 o'clock. And I'm, I'm living in Hawaii Kai, which is roughly 10, 12 miles away. But with traffic, that made it about, you know, a good 30-minute commute. Uh, excuse me, more with, more with traffic. But if I left early enough, I could avoid the traffic. So for me, it actually made sense to get up about 5 o'clock and leave by about 6 so I could beat the traffic. So it was very rough because basically two hours of my life was dedicated to that just before even work started. This is what I mean by... <clears throat> um, the stress that can be applied to work. Then when we get there, depending on your job, you might have one or two coworkers that you don't get along well with. You could have a boss that doesn't respect you or honor you or appreciate you. Welcome, Pat. Welcome, Esther. And welcome, Dove. Thank you all for joining. And so uh, these impact us as well. Some people, they work in a job where they have uh, one or two different forms of payment. Maybe they have hourly and uh, they also have a bonus or maybe they are commission only or salary plus commission all of these strive to impact us then we also we have the relationships with all those that come into our life at that particular job if if we are outside and we are communicating with people outside my experience has been those jobs tend to be the most enjoyable because we're not stuck inside <clears throat> for those of us that are stuck inside and we have that boss that's always looking over our shoulder, those can be very unpleasant work relationships as well. 
And so what I'm going to ask all of you to do uh, is I'm going to ask you to ask any questions that you have around the subject of work and work relationships and any specifically any individuals list their their relationship to you for example if they're your boss or a coworker, <clears throat> possibly a subordinate um, and list what the frustration might be if, if that's what it is if it's the inability to get a raise in your job after you've been there X amount of time and you should have gotten one already we can do so readings around that maybe how that can be improved um, different possibilities uh, maybe you want to ask about what might be a better um, position for you and it helps to have choices because I have a divine pendulum so for example if you said well I've been considering um, this career or this career you know like uh, uh, one, of, one of the people asked me last week and I was able to offer guidance for a specific career based on choices <clears throat> if you ask a general question um, you'll get a general answer but if you're a bit more specific heaven can help you out quite a bit through the flows so I encourage you all to ask any questions you might have in that arena <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a flow around um, work shape, workplace relationship and how it impacts us uh, through our everyday life. And we'll see what, what any additional wisdom heaven has to offer us. How? Work and the workplace for most of humanity represents about one third of their life. The other third being sleep and the other third being recreation, family, food, eating, entertainment, etc. Because of the nature of this function of life, there is a propensity for humanity to expend a great deal of effort in maintaining solidarity, and unity in their workplace. They do their best to accomplish this because on a subtle level they are aware of the impacts that it has on the remainder of their life. Many people you hear about dream about work. So they actually get no rest or reprieve which is their hope for their weekends and their time off. <clears throat> Hence, the work and the workplace relationships are exceedingly important to the quality of life that can be experienced before and after this responsibility. It is of great importance to practice soul communication with all of those at your employment including co-workers, the boss, the equipment itself, and the relationships between all of you, even the soul of your finances at the job. If you were to take an extra five to ten minutes every day to call forth the souls of the co-workers, the boss, the company, the finances for you specifically, and all of your relationships, do a forgiveness practice with the co-workers, the boss, and all the souls invited, both asking for and offering forgiveness, and then of course employ love, peace, and harmony. You would find in a relatively short period of time a substantial shift in not only your happiness, but in the camaraderie, the communication, and the opportunities that will open up for you. You could get a better office with a better view. You could have people asking you, what have you done to your hair? You just seem different now. When in fact what has changed is the karmic veil that created separation between you has been 
cleared, so to speak. This is a simple example of how a simple practice of 5 to 10 minutes done daily can bring huge benefits to your workplace, which in turn would create far less irritation, stress, and exhaustion by the end of the day. This is but a tidbit of the deeper wisdom that can be offered on this subject. More will be shared as the opportunity reveals itself. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know, some of the things I, I forget about, you know, as the, as the flow comes, um, it, uh, something was, was, was being said, and I, I, you know, I just, I forgot uh, about that aspect of the workplace. I can't even remember it right now because I was in flow. But, um, oh yeah, it was about the dreams. I see Kristen's comment. I, you know, I haven't had that kind of, of, of problem in, in a long time where I dream about work. But I know that when I have those kinds of dreams, uh, which has fortunately been many, many years, I don't wake up feeling refreshed. <clears throat> I wake up feeling exhausted. I'm sure you're similar in many ways. So these are some of the, that's the value of flow. I mean, some stuff comes out I have completely forgotten about. <coughs> Excuse me. My wife told me, Paul, if you cough or clear your throat, cover the microphone. So I apologize. I will do my best to not cough clear my throat but we'll do better okay so let me back up here welcome cat cat welcome Ari uh, Ari 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 uh, welcome Claudia and welcome Kristen welcome Margaret okay and now I'll read some of the questions that might have been posed uh, Yvonne has asked and um, Pat I thought I acknowledged you but if I haven't welcome um, how do we know to partnership with business partners in good karma? Oh, it's a very good question. One of the things that Yvonne is referring to is that uh, uh, teaching the Master Shah gave more than once is that we can have an excellent business, an excellent business idea. We can have all the skill sets to create an exceptional business set of results. But if we go into a business partnership and that partner and us have business karma, individually or together, then it will negatively impact the outcome and success of the business. So the question is, how do we know to partnership with business partners in good karma? So uh, the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> so it's a good one to do a flow on. <laughs> so let's ask the soul world. To the soul of um, this, this very good question that Yvonne has posed, how do we know if a partner uh, is a good one and has good karma and we would be good in partnership? Please um, uh, provide any guidance, wisdom, and insights at this time. We ask the, the soul world and the business of the soul world um, and, and those that can best answer this question to please come forth and offer guidance as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? This is the soul of business partnership. For a successful business partnership, there are several important ingredients. The first and foremost is honesty. Where there is honesty, there is the highest propensity of success. So be sure that your partner has a history not only of honesty with you, but in their business dealings. The second aspect is the connection between the two individuals. Since unless the individual has the opportunity to read the Akashic records and know the business karma of the other one, one must apply the way the communication and business dealings occur between the two of you. Many take make unwise choices by aligning a business partnerships with those that they are truly unfamiliar with the others business ethics prowess and background so one way to ensure that the karma is good is by looking at the history of the other one in terms of their business practices have they been ethical do they pay their taxes? Have they 
done homework and research to ensure that they are doing everything legally because in a partnership their actions can negatively impact you. Another aspect or variable to consider in going into business with somebody is the way the business itself is structured because if those other individuals have dissolution of their personal relationship and the spouse wishes to uh, have access to an aspect of the business it could destroy a perfectly healthy business so in considering business partnership and the karmic aspects very often it is reflected in the external representation someone typically will only be successful in business under two possibilities one they are successful and honest two they are successful through dishonest tactics a little bit of research will assist you in discerning which is the case <clears throat> uh, uh, alternatively you can ask a divine channel or someone that has access to the Akashic Records to check the viability and possibility of a successful business relationship we are assured that this information will help you in your endeavors this is the soul of business partnerships how how, how? thank you thank you thank you okay thank you for that kind of common sense but <clears throat> one of the things when I do a flow and I hear them say you know it'll be several things I can see these things lining up one two three four and I have no idea what's going to come out <clears throat> and so it's really interesting because my, my mind wants to go oh how am I going to you know know what one two and three and four is and it's interesting because as long as I stay centered it just comes out bum 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 but then I don't remember it so so hopefully somebody has that information um, okay welcome 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 again Kristen says I feel a little trapped in my job although I enjoy it uh, it just is so many hours that I don't get to spend anywhere near as much time on my spiritual journey as I would like to I do chant all day long uh, very good that's a great practice as it has occurred to me that I am in that place on purpose for intensive practice as very often the case <clears throat> and so um, I'm going to try to ascertain from this statement because it's more of a statement than a question Kristen um, that you would maybe like a way to figure out either how to have a equally or more enjoyable position in that same structure or a different one that uh, is less trapping in the times of the amount of hours that it takes and uh, potentially could bring you more enjoyment so let's see <clears throat> what the answers are for our dear Kristen The environment where you live does not necessarily allow for a great deal of diversity or job choices for which you have skill sets. You could choose to employ things that you have done in the past in your own, on your own but you are unsure of how to promote yourself so to speak because of the modern technologies and what not so you are in somewhat of a loop of spending a lot of time to earn an income and you have adjusted your mentality to make the best of it one of the things that you can do that can assist you with your current function is to employ divine healing hands more often ask the divine healing hands if you do not have them yourself use the book it has 20 blessings in it to 
And bless the quality of the experience at the job so that it is more enriching, fulfilling, and that those that you communicate with receive a similar value and blessing. What you will discover with this is that the time that is spent there will be quite a bit more rewarding than you have adjusted it to be. <clears throat> In about nine months to a year, there is a possibility of promotion through someone leaving or passing to the other side. And although there's a part of you that might not really want that position, you would do well at it. So consider it. The hours would not be much different than what you're currently putting in, but the pay would be more. We hope this assists you. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. You have to let me know if that makes sense for you, Kristen. It's always curious when we have really no idea <coughs> the job itself. Okay, and Margaret, Claudia, Kristen, and welcome, Guillaume. So Pat J.D. says, I'm thinking about soul healing and teaching. And welcome, Krista. Welcome, Anne-Marie Anne -Marie Stewart. Welcome, Carrie. Welcome, Achana. So for those that are new, I'm doing soul readings on work and work-related blockages. Could be individuals. If it's individuals, mention their, um, their um, position, coworker, or boss, and their initials. <clears throat> and then uh, if, it's, if it's a work-related blockage like what you see coming up here, then uh, we can address that as well. Okay, so Pat says, I am thinking about soul healing and teaching. Uh, I have spent my more than 20 years with most of my present coworkers and about seven with my new boss. Okay, Okay, so this is guidance along those lines. Let's find out. You're the soul of Pat. Uh, Pat's consideration of doing soul healing. <clears throat> um, what, why, and how uh, might be the best way to implement that in her uh, daily life and business uh, any additional insights beyond what she is presently doing also any additional insights as to how um, any introduction if beneficial to the existing employment could occur uh, if the employment is to be um, kept and soul healing applied externally please offer that information as well please gather whoever is I'm best providing this answer at this time and borrow my mouth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the soul of Pat's soul healing business. I am honored to serve you. I am honored to serve our community. It is important that others know about our service and that they appreciate and are willing to honor for it. Do not be shy, Pat, about keeping many cards with you. And when you see anybody rubbing their back, when you see anybody caressing their neck, or offering support for their child's suffering, when you see this at the grocery store or any place else, Offer your card a beautiful smile on your service and just tell them, 
I have helped others with these kinds of suffering. Please keep my card for reference for this condition or something in the future. In this way, you have a natural opportunity to meet people. You have a natural opportunity to grow the healing business. And it will loosen any of the mind barriers around connecting with people. <clears throat> Do soul marketing for the right people to show themselves to you. You may receive testing occasionally from someone that does not receive your offering well. The test is, are you going to continue? Are you going to send them love and compassion? Because when somebody responds negatively, that means they are in pain. That means they have mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. So just be present to that, should that ever happen. I, the soul of your business, teach you that so that you have the trust, the love, and the desire to serve others. By making it a goal to pass out one per day, for example, by the end of the month, you will likely receive a few calls. Do not be shy to talk about the fee. One of the ways that has been taught by the masters is my normal honor fee for the service is this much. However, for some people it may be difficult and I allow a donation for whatever is comfortable. This allows the person to not turn off and yet be okay. I will test this. Of course the results will be extraordinary and they will happily pay what you have stated to them. But by giving them a choice to honor whatever they choose for a donation, they now feel much more comfortable with moving forward. You can apply this and steadily grow your business in such a way where when and if the time reveals itself to do so, you can be substantially more successful in that possible business. I am honored to serve you. I am honored to offer you this guidance, wisdom, and advice. This is the soul of your soul healing business. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful advice, probably for everyone here that has a divine healing hands or would like to do soul healing, you could probably uh, benefit from that wisdom. And Kristen uh, talks about she would love to have a healing service business. So then just apply that wisdom, Kristen, that will help you tremendously. Okay, Anne-Marie Stewart, welcome, good morning. It's a... Uh, 2 or 30 in the afternoon here but wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening okay and Ari says hello Master Paul Teresa Darling and I are on wonderful welcome to both of you welcome Teresa And then Anne-Marie says, Dear Master Paul, I work in many positions in the community, really desire to move forward in soul service and remove blockages. Thank you. Love you. Let's see if there's anything specific for you, Anne-Marie. One of the things I'm hearing for you, Anne-Marie, is uh, the elderly. The elderly are uh, something that they're a, a social group that you, I'm hearing, will get along well with. That uh, they will readily work with you and what you have to offer. And um, that you may <clears throat> want to consider a position, a paid position, you know, as a, as a 
as a support person for an elderly where you go to their home and you're there eight hours a day. Um, but then at the same time, you can utilize um, your soul healing to assist them whatever, with whatever they might be going through. And this could uh, lead to other possibilities for you. So that's what I'm hearing for you specifically. Hopefully that, that assists you. Okay, Stephanie. Master Paul, I would like to move soon so I can be near and participate more at the Love Peace Harmony Center there in Boulder. Do you see a job opportunity opening for me? Uh, okay, let me check. Did the soul of Stephanie, the soul of the possibility of Stephanie moving to Boulder. And any job positions uh, that would, might align well for Stephanie in this town. Please reveal yourself at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I heard what I would call two, two, two not, not immediate choices I would have guessed, but what I heard was airport and I heard the city, working for the city. Uh, I don't even know if Boulder has an airport, and um, uh, the city obviously will have different aspects to it. But those are the two things I heard. So uh, maybe look in that general direction, see if that helps you. Okay. And Carrie says, to start my soul healing business, should I build a website and do distance healing or try to rent a space somewhere? Okay, give me a second while I take a drink. <clears throat> to the soul of Carrie, the soul of this question of starting a soul healing business, a website or distance healing, or trying to rent a space somewhere. Could you please reveal? The highest and best guidance for Carrie at this time regarding a soul healing business. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. So what I'm hearing for you, Carrie, is um, to work out an agreement with an existing um, physical location, like uh, you know, a, a massage individual or a chiropractor or something of that nature, where you can um, rent space as needed. Um, by the by the uh, availability so to speak <clears throat> and they might for example have certain times when they're just not there or maybe you would need to contact them and say hey you know I have somebody that's that's requesting a time um, do you have this time available and you can work it either way you could you could say uh, let me check my schedule and call you right back and in that place you contact the individual and say you know what's your schedule a lot of times these people will have their schedule online and you'll be able to see it and then you'll know. But in this way, especially if you only pay by the usage, uh, it'll be much more um, sane and financially comfortable for you. If, for example, you charged a, a $75, $100 for a blessing, and the person wanted 15 or 20 for usage of that space, then it becomes very affordable because it's only something you honor for when you actually use it. So that's what the soul world is telling me for you at this time. They're all saying that. They're also saying that. A website, although it would not necessarily be a source of um, gathering new souls to you, uh, at least not for a while because you'd have to develop a footprint, but it would provide credibility. 
and so you can, for example, borrow um, information that is already uh, on the internet regarding the description of what is soul healing, etc., etc., and you can have that on your website to offer explanations, and then you can have a little bio on yourself, uh, contact information, etc. It gives you credibility, uh, uh, and that would be the purpose of it. Um, so that's what I'm hearing to support you. Okay, hopefully that helps. How? Okay. Dove says, I was hired today for a new job. I'm very happy, <clears throat> but it also concerns me if I should stay with this job in this state. Okay. Yeah, because I know you were talking about uh, Hawaii in a few months too because of some family concerns. Um, so is that new job in Hawaii? I'm not sure. Yeah, one of the things I'm hearing, Dove, is consider a leave of absence. Um, that will give you a certain period of time uh, to feel out just what your commitments are in your shift. So uh, that's a limited piece of information, but hopefully that, that gives you some insights. Okay. And our China says, Namaste, Master Pala. I've been out of a job since November 2013. I've been applying for jobs since then, but I have not received a single offer. Recently, I have been offered a small assignment. A makeup artist wants to take classes, and he wants me to partner with him by handling marketing and admin. Uh, Master, do you see this as a start? I need resources to take care of my 20-year-old son. Okay. To the soul of Audrey Archana. Archana, Chaudhry, the soul of his uh, particular conditions, um, the potential for job or job shift, um, a way in which Ad, uh, Adre can, Archana can make uh, a living if this particular um, skill set would be one that he could move forward with and growing um, a resource for generating income. Any other guidance, wisdom, and insights as appropriate? Could you please offer this information now? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what I'm hearing, Archana, is that um, this would be a good stepping stone that um, there is a value in being in control, being in control of your business by using this skill set as a stepping stone. And how that might look is by making sure you set up something in advance that creates a measuring tool the value of your service to this individual you're doing this marketing etc for <clears throat> what has their success been before versus when you did this for them um, find a way to track those that that attend this event that you're doing the marketing for this experience you're doing the marketing for find a way to track that as much as possible so that you can lay claim to that I did this then in terms of the um, the ability to finance moving forward with the business of that nature, you want to actually do it in reverse. You want to have the businesses do it on your behalf by offering them your services at a discount. And so you want to do, be creative about it, but figure out a way in which 
by serving them, they will serve you. So, for example, you could say, um, I will offer you my marketing da 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 services to enhance this, 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 and this. But in return, uh, and my normal, my normal uh, um, service is this much, X amount of money. Um, but I'm going to cut that in half. And in return, um, I will ask you to, uh, you, you'll work out a way, for example, where they will market you with their items. And you'll be able to market yourself at their event. You work it out to where you can market yourself and generate business elsewhere. You give them a discount up front for the opportunity to market yourself on a bigger scale and then you make up the difference on the back end which will allow you to grow a little bit more. Uh, so that's the information that I'm hearing for you. Hopefully that assists you. Okay, welcome Adrian. Happy to see you here. Welcome Lily. I wonder if you came in with your wife. Let me know, Adrian. So Adrian and Lily and everybody knew this, just come on. Uh, I'm doing soul readings for work and work-related blockages. And um, my friend Adrian, I'm sure he has some with his boss. She used to be my boss. <laughs> so I don't know if my answer will be free of, of ego and mind <laughs> if you ask me a question about her. But <laughs> we'll find out. <clears throat> Crystal, uh, Master Paul, any guidance or messages from the soul world for my business would be greatly appreciated. Okay. To the soul of Crystal Valencia and her business, questions regarding this uh, and the success of her business. Any guidance from the soul world for that? Hey, 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 yo. Hey, 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 yo, yo, hey. Hey, yo, yo, hey, yo, hey. What they're saying, Crystal, is do a better job on your follow-up. Create a phenomenal follow-up program. Spend both time and money to ensure that those that receive your product or service is happy. And if they're not, what you can do to make them happy. And... Um, by spending this, this extra time in that arena, uh, those people will naturally refer you and they'll come back and buy again. Even if they received inferior product, inferior service, or inferior anything, uh, you will negate negative press, which is always 20 times more than positive press, and uh, you have the likelihood that they will give you a second chance if something went wrong the first time. So that's the message I'm hearing that will increase your business. So let me know if that's something that feels like a value to you. Okay, so Pat, much gratitude for the Soul Reading Master Paul. We'll have to listen to the live stream tomorrow as the, the net keeps dropping here to get the information you shared. Yeah, beloved Pat, she's actually over in the uh, uh, Trinidad Tobago area. So uh, difficult communication structures over there. And then Anne Marie says, Thank you, Master Paul. I have further guidance as I enjoy this wor uh, work, working one on one in a home. Generally, this removes me from getting uh, get greater community and, and very wages. Okay. And Carrie says, thank you, Master Paul. You are welcome. Welcome, Jota. Okay. And Dove says, thank you, Master Paul. I'll look into it. Yeah, I'm, um, hopefully that helps, Dove. I'm not really uh, clear on your set of conditions, but uh, hopefully that assists you. And you're welcome, Archana. Uh, Meliana, M Melana, welcome Melana. We have a teleconference now. Thanks for the reminder, and I will try to join you another time. Okay, bye bye. And then Yvonne says, uh, "Any guidance for uh, to empower a network online business? Empower network online." Okay, give me a moment. <coughs> Hey, uh, hey, 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 hey.
How? For our dear Ivan. We first wish to give you great credit for your strength, tenacity, and willpower to improve your skill sets in this arena. Our message to you is dedicate a specific amount of time every day, but break up the time. Part of it is in learning, part of it is in the actual marketing. <clears throat> Ensure yourself that you do both each day. We recommend a minimum of two hours. If you are able to reproduce this wherein you learn five hours specific uh, on task learning and apply five hours that it will start to return dividends to you in 30 or so days. A consistency of this would not only maintain those dividends but also uh, increase <coughs> your success as you would now have the opportunity to uh, teach others this same repeatable process. We hope that this guidance assists you. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, how the time flies. It's already 10 minutes until 3. Surprise, surprise. <clears throat> so, uh, what I'd like to do at this time is do one more flow as to... Uh, I'll ask actually what to do the flow on and then I'll offer a blessing for everybody that has joined us here today and for everybody that will watch this in the future. <clears throat> so this flow is, is from the soul of the Divine Healing Hands. It wants to offer some guidance for service. <clears throat> How? This is the soul of the Divine's healing hands and my opportunity to serve both as a service and as a business. Many have not understood the value of my service. A great deal of that is because they have not heard of me and have not experienced me. <clears throat> Master Shah teaches that if you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. We understand, and I understand, that you are uncomfortable charging. You will discover that most people are more happy to honor, especially when they receive a noticeable result. One of the keys to achieve a noticeable result is a long enough healing blessing. <clears throat> One of the big mistakes that is made when the healers use me to offer a blessing is they limit it to five minutes or less. Although I can accomplish a lot in this period of time, it is unlikely that I would accomplish the kind of results that would cause a person to go, Wow, I want more of this. <clears throat> so my first recommendation to all of you is to extend your healing to 15 minutes to pull out your watch or smartphone and set it to that long. Further, I encourage you to chant love, peace, and harmony during that time and keep your mind in your Ming Min acupuncture point. <coughs> when you offer the blessing, your mind remains there. Just allow my service to come through you to serve the other. When the service is complete, do not ask them right away to check their area of suffering. Instead, ask them to get up and walk around a bit. After that, then they can check. Be smart when you do the blessing. If it is something that is measurable, ask them. Ask them to reproduce that discomfort, pain, or suffering. Ask them to stretch in such a way to to make obvious a lack of flexibility or a induced pain when they move a certain way. In this way, you have something for them that makes it substantially more identifiable. 
Then at the end of the blessing, after they move around a bit, have them reproduce those aspects that created a uh, exemplification of the suffering. They will be wowed, they will be moved. At this point, you can feel very comfortable stating to them that normally I ask only $50 for this incredible kind of blessing. I am always amazed how many people spend that for a one-week benefit of a massage and then repeat it two weeks later. Please remember me in the future. Please make sure you pass these extra two cards I am giving to you to those that you care about and tell them about your experience. <clears throat> in this way, my service is not for nothing and the virtue will return. Also, that person will remember you, especially because they passed your cards and because you gave them a blessing that was memorable. Please go out and serve more people and allow me to be as powerful as I can be. I am greatly honored for the opportunity to share at this time. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so great. That's great news, uh, Crystal. Thank you for that feedback. I think that can, can assist you quite a bit. Um, and thank you, Kristen, for your response. So thank you, everybody. I will finish with the blessing. So please make your requests, and I will turn on my healing treasures. request one item for yourself you may also invite in three family members so take a moment and invite in three family members and make a request for them if you know what it is if not we'll let heaven choose Ten more seconds. Blessing begin. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you to my Heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. Thank you to the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, treasures that offer these blessings here today. Thank you to my healer soul. Thank you to all those who have come. I will be here tomorrow. I will do more soul readings and soul guidance. I'll reveal the source of that tomorrow. <clears throat> and I will look forward to seeing you then. Please continue to like, continue to share this afterwards. By, by hitting your share button afterwards, all of your friends get to see this and maybe they'll receive some benefits as well. Love you, love you, love you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.